Stop pitching you. Welcome to another video. Now, if I don't want to talk in quite uh, softly, because some people try to sleep, so I'm sorry. If you can't hear us, turn the volume up. But we're going to play some more Crystal Line. Um, last time we found some Keelan Pongos in the attic, was it? I think so. And Kara went out to get some Liana's new outfits, so let's, let's keep going. Sorry, I know I spelled it after, and quickly head down the stairs. I think I know why the Vipongo didn't want to leave the room today. I think it's interesting that that happened. Shaking my head, I go downstairs to the lobby. The lobby is as busy as it was the night before, with the same number of people filling the tables. This is what, it's not exactly where I expect him to be, right in front of the bounty boards. Kara knows to drink alone at the tables, I don't see Liana or Amy anyway. Do, um, do, uh, do I, you I, I bet when I was in a room, I finally talked to her, talked to her, I'm good for now. Okay. I think I'm gonna do, I bet Liana was in a room. Yeah, I think pretty nervous last time. Why was she still in her room? Then he went back upstairs, I knocked on her door. Often her, her voice calls out. It's me. There's a silence as I wait for her to open the door, but she doesn't. Is everything okay? Uh, yep. Everything's fine. I bet it's not. Okay. She sounds really distracted. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Amy and I are kind of in the middle of something. Do you think you can come back later? What is the something that she's referring to? Ah, so that's where Amelia is too. <laughs> sure, sorry to disturb you. She doesn't answer. That's kind of weird. Maybe she's in Dorothy. I don't leave her alone. Now check her later if I have time. I think we'll see that they're like still at like Zach and then talk to Kara. I found Kara. Oh, the table. Sorry guys. Because I'm Kara. She's in, is in eyebrow as I sit. Hey Kara. Hey. She looks amused as she takes a seal for drink. Um, got any exciting plans today? She shrugs. Yeah, same here. Um, there's got to be something more exciting to, to do. What do you think? A slight smile sits across her face. She always smacks her drink and slams the standing mug onto the, on the table. I think I know exactly what we should do. What? I'm not sure I trust that look. What does she even have planned? I, you, you guys know you're in trouble. When the only one around here has a plan of what to do with Kara, uh, would you have in mind? We're going to go gambling. Yeah, thought so. No thanks. Maybe we should do something more alone. I'm really lucky today. Don't you know anything? Uh, well, you guys know I'll never gamble in real life, so I'll say I'll really say I'm feeling lucky today, because actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Probably, maybe we could do something more alone. Let's see what she says. Going outside in the storm, wouldn't we, wouldn't we stay here and hang out somewhere more secluded? Kara shakes her head. No, I think I'd rather go gambling. Let's get going, my friend. <laughs> I follow Kara out of the inn. The streets are deserted as the clouds roll overhead. I glance cautiously at the sky, the colour remains unconcerned as she serves the shops along the streets. Finally, she stops in front of the gaudy building. Bright crystals illuminate the sign as they flash the shopping on and off. The place sticks out like a store, sore thumb. Kara grins as she pushes open the doors. I follow her in and blink as my eyes adjust to the dim room. Even if I had noticed where we were going, I would easily recognise this place as a casino. Half of this with flashy slot machines, provide me many crystals, they are hard to show the tables. Both players and others guard around the table. In fact, the casino is packed with people. Clearly, the store is not enough to keep, even, keep these people from their games. So, see anything you like? She guesses at the tables. Uh, you pick. She reads on the table, taking curious glances at each game before deciding. Have you played Shadow Maze? How do you play? a numerical value of 21 with the cards you're dealt. You'll start with two cards, and you could choose to add cards or stand depending on what you have. 
That's Blackjack. No, I'm familiar with this game. I was gonna say... I don't know how I'm not familiar with this game. Um, I'm gonna say that's, that's Blackjack, because it is. Um, and I wouldn't know because I haven't gambled before. Oh, I know this game. We have a version of it back home. Perfect. Then you'll be a pro. Ready to play? <laughs> I'm ready to win? Not yet. Let's play already. <laughs> so let's do... Let's play already. I'm supposed to do my best. There, you happy? She grins. <laughs> After the rain, he sees the tail field. The red begins the first round. He starts two cards face up. All the numbers are the same. The suits of the cards are unfamiliar. What we have is like a set of crystals and a lot of, uh, it's really dots. I have no idea what they are. Looking down the table, I can just have a total of 18, 13, 17, and 20. Uh, i uh, I'm gonna take a chance and say hit me. The card's only out of 16. No one with that hand. Hit me. The new flips over another card to the 5. Nice. The dealer busts. And I win this round. <sighs> so that card's a bunch of master. Pretty much kills me every round. So this guy's another patron, Stephen, and I'm glad I'm not a part of the game. They're not happy at losing all that money. <laughs> I've had a few other attacks. Tables and recognize a ton of versions of Crash and Roulette. I find we, how we have a fairly similar games, although I suppose I try to expect to see a familiar similar worlds. Gambling is gambling. That is, that is kind of true, guys. I tend to, we tend to black this blackjack table. This time, city cars are roughly stand up. Time to go. Before we're trying, guys are getting pressed on her face as she shakes her head. I think she's mad that I'm, just, that I'm getting all of her money and everybody else's. Oh, even one more game? Really, it's about time we get going. Trust me. Yeah, she's mad I'm taking all the money. <laughs> she doesn't say she'll lay up. I shall and follow her. After the crash next, Kara hastens out of the casino. I don't catch up with her. Something weird is going on. So, what was that all about? Hmm? You were in such a hurry to leave. She smiles innocently. It was just time for us to go. No, I bet there's something more to it. Uh huh. You were totally up to something shady, weren't you? I don't know what you mean. Sh sure. I bet you were counting cards. Card blinks. Oh, you know this? Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. That's being resourceful. That's cheating. Because it is. You were cheating? Cheating is cheating, though. Most people do that, though. though. So it's so it's stacking the odds unfairly, which is against the spirit of the game. Besides, you're stealing money from the business while you do that. I can think of a few people who can better use that money. You mean like orphans? Kai whips her hair around and stares at me with wide eyes. More specifically, the orphans back in Stonecrest. I saw you there. I wanted to share money with them too. The expression softens. You gave them money too. I know. I felt bad for them. Yeah. They were just trying to survive in the only way they knew how. I thought if I shared my reward with them. Well, now I feel guilty only giving them a portion of my reward. She laughs. <laughs> Your heart was in the right place. <laughs> So what should we do now? Let's use green just goes across her face. No, not, go to not the most devious green. Oh, I laugh. This is going to make you travel. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess that wraps up for another video, guys. Leave a comment below let me know what you want me to do next. Please, just, please subscribe. It's somewhere around me. Wherever it is, just click it. Leave a thumbs up. Love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I will see you... Um, in the NA's academy. Until then, peace.